Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting functionality about MDM. This functionality is nothing but excluding record from match process. There are several scenarios during which business do not want to match records for given business cases. For example, in business record they have the trust record they have the individual records also they have the organization record and business do not want to match the trust records either with the individual or the business or the organization so how can we do that in order to achieve such cases informatica provide a inbuilt process and the process is called as a exclude records from the match process in this what this process is Informatica MDM Hub provides a mechanism for selectively excluding records from the match process. We might want to do this if our data contain records that we do not want to match process to ignore or we want the match process to ignore. So how to avoid this record from the matching? So that is nothing but the exclude record from the match process. Okay, we got the concept, but how to configure? In order to configure for this process, we have to add exclude underscore from underscore match column in the base object on which we are going to run the match and merge, although we are going to run the match process. This column exclude underscore from underscore match should be of type integer and the value should be zero. If value is zero, that means record will be considered for the matching. If the value is 1 for the exclude from match column, then record will be considered for exclusion. That means exclude from match column has the value 1, then such record will not participate in the match process. There are several pro several steps involved. We have to add column exclude from match in base object with integer type with the default value 0. Then we have to set the field 1 during the staging process or you can use the data manager also to make it 1. Then we have to write a post load user exit to update the, update the consolidation indicator to 1 for this specific record. This is not mandatory but this is optional thing. We can achieve using the accept non match record as a unique mechanism also. Here important thing to remember. Though the match tokens are not generated for this specific record, dirty indicator will be updated to zero after regular match process for such records. How it works? Once the table is populated and before running the match job to exclude a record from matching, we have to change its value to exclude match column to one in the data manager. When match job runs, only those records with exclude from match value 0 will be tokenized and processed all other records will be ignored where it is applicable both exact match uh, base object and fuzzy match base object is capable or have the capability to use exclude match uh, exclude match column for this processing match column rules only not a primary key match rules that do not match for the duplicates impact on the tokenization process yes there is an impact on the tokenization process if value of this column is either null or one then those records will not participate in the tokenization process hence tokens will not be generated for such records Let's have a demo on that. In order to do the demo or demonstration on this, we have created few uh, one of base object table. And the base object table name is cust cbo cust. This column, uh, this table has column full name, SSN, first name, last name, and important column exclude from match it name should be exactly same like this 
it should be integer data type and the it has the default value 0 so this is basic configuration at the base object level on the landing level also we have created similar kind of structure full name first name last name ssn also we included the exclude from match column this is not mandatory column here but if you want to update this column through a regular job it's a good idea to include in the landing also we have corresponding mapping also which is the direct mapping we have one to one we have just mapped for full name to the pq source but we can use any customer id to do this pq source mapping now let's go back to the base object in the base object we have configured match rule which have one match column person name which include the full name as a candidate then the match rule set has only one match column and that is the fuzzy match rule with the person name this is basic configuration no other column is required to be configured once we are done with that in the database we are we can see few records so there are actually four records we have inserted in the base object we can see the first name is michael last name is paul then mike paul mike one paul michael p paul so these are the record but the full names are quite similar i make particularly exactly same uh, full name the reason is i want to see how the records are getting excluded so there are four records let me add one more record in order to add one more record we can use the data manager the data manager is already there let's click on the plus sign i'll use the same this time i will use some other names like b b or you can use any name because these are not column considered for the matching here if you remember if exclude from match value is one then this record will not be considered for matching so we'll just check with this b b a c or let me make simple one first name first name So just to identify easily so there will be five records if you notice there are five records out of five record the fifth record is having the column value exclude from match is one the second record let's see the third record the third record has exclude for match is zero first record will also have the zero second record is also zero the fourth record which i make the one so let's keep as it is so there are two records with the exclude from match is one rest of three rest of three are having the exclude from match as a value zero that means the record five and four will not participate in match however the rest of the three will participate in the match and they will get merged so in order to do that let's again validate in the database side the database will have the five records out of that the two records with the row id object four and five will have the exclude from match as a one so those two records will not be considered and you can see the name of this record is mike p and first name one so we will validate those let's run the match and merge process let's select it let's select the natural set exit execute it and the job is completed let's see the stats match records are two record token is three if you notice there are five records but the only three record token is which is which do not have the exclude from match flag as a one so the records with the exclude from match flag zero are tokenized atomage records two accepted record unique as a three means total records with the consolidation one will be the three because two from the exclude from match and one which is got merged with the other records queued for atomage two records got queued for the atomage if you go back and check in the database you will see that so you can see there are three records 
record 1, 2, 3 got merged into 2, record 4 and 5 are has the separate values. So you can see these records are not get merged even their full, full names are exactly same which is the candidate for the match. So by this way we can exclude the record from the matching. I hope this is very simple tutorial on how to achieve the exclusion of the record from the match process. If you have any questions or queries about the match process, about MDM, IDD or SIP or any other relevant technology, you can mention in the comment section of the video. Thank you again and have a nice time.